so this is a bench press. In the bench press, what we're looking to do is create enough full body tightness through the full body so that your upper body can produce as much force as possible. With the bench press, it's been linked to increasing your uh, punch power potential. Okay, so we're going to look to maximize that and get you as strong as possible so we can carry over into that punch. So what we need to do to start off with is get Ben to lay down on the bench flat. And I want him to shuffle this way just a little bit on the bench. There we go. So we can see that his eyes are in line with the, the bar, okay? And that's a really good position for him to be in. So if he lifts that bar off himself, when he does the press, it won't catch onto the hooks. Perfect, okay? So that's, that's a really ideal position. Okay, so talking about the setup then, what we want from Ben is to think about squeezing his shoulder blades back and down as if he's trying to put his shoulder blades in his back pockets, okay? Then I want him to think about bringing his feet in nice and close towards the bench and screwing his feet in towards the floor. So we've got loads of tightness through the quads and the glutes. Then when he's ready, he's gonna take a big deep breath, okay? And he's gonna unrack the bar. Okay, so now he's got that, he's going to lower it down towards his sternum and he's going to touch the bar all the way down towards his chest and then come up towards the top, okay? So he's just going to give me four more reps like that. Here we go. Awesome, and then he's going to re-wrap the bar all the way in. Just put it all the way in and then he can relax. So there's a few different nuances in bench press um, technique, okay? And I'm going to speak about them now. The first one is how wide you go with your grip, okay? And this is totally individual to you as a lifter and as an athlete. The ideal grip width is gonna be slightly outside of shoulder width, okay? So slightly outside of shoulder width, and that's probably about right for Ben, okay? The other thing is, do we uh, wrap the thumb around the bar or not? And this comes down to um, comfortability and how it feels for you as an athlete. I personally, for safety, always recommend wrapping the thumb around, but if you've been lifting for a long period of time, you can go to a thumbless grip, okay? But that is ultimately going to potentially affect your safety in that, okay? So with the bench press, we want to gradually build up the weight over a series of sets. You're not going to go straight into a heavy weight. You're going to gradually take your time, okay? So that is the bench press.